Today we have a 2012 Chevy Captiva. It's all-wheel drive with a 3.0. Uh, there is a check engine light, which happens to be a PO430, which happens to be Bank 2, Sensor 2. We are going to show you where the oxygen sensor is located and how to replace it. This is your Chevy GM 3.0 uh, V6. Uh, the firing order happens to be 246135. So Bank 2 is, of course, going to be in the front. And it's saying uh, bank two, sensor two. So that's after the catalytic converter. So we're gonna show you where that's located and how to pull that off real quick. Now these are the proper tools. You could use a 22 uh, millimeter open wrench if that's all you got. But these are the uh, oxygen tools, sockets. And I'm, I'm pretty positive it's this one right here. And like I said, this is bank two right here. So it's gonna be the first oxygen sensor after the catalytic converter and this is the proper one you don't want to get the one before the catalytic converter you want to get the one that's after front of the car here you come right up in here this is the front of the motor this is downstream oxygen sensor bank two sensor two and it happens to be right after the catalytic converter up here the oxygen sensors here what we got to do there's a lock on the tab up there we're going to take that out first push that up if i'm not in the way of the camera that's got to be pushed up like that. And you can see the tab is right there. You just lift that up and push it out. Whoop, that broke. Not what I wanted, but there we go. They get old and brittle like that. Sometimes they break. All right, but it doesn't really matter because that is on. I think it's on that. Yeah, it was on this, so we're good. All right, now we're going to get the proper tool to pull it out. What you're gonna do is the tool we showed you earlier, you're gonna take that, slide it across there. And a lot of times on these right here, if it doesn't wanna break loose, just take some heat to this. You could use a 22 uh, millimeter open wrench on that, but if you got the proper tools, you might as well use them. Put that on like that. Put this on. Like that. And just break it loose like that. You get it broke loose, and a lot of times you can just spin it out. Now we got a, a PO430 code, which is telling us it's bank two sensor, two oxygen sensor. So that's the first thing we're going to replace here. All right. This is the uh, oxygen sensor we happen to get. And we're just going to compare it real quick to make sure it looks the same. Usually put a cover on it like that. That looks the same. Make sure the plugins are the same. Yep, you can see the old plugin wasn't a big deal. I told you that they get old and brittle. That's what broke. No big deal. So we're ready to reinstall. You can see the the new one also has like an NICs on it. Um, and if they didn't have it on, you'd probably want to put that on. But uh, it's ready to install. You don't plug it in first. You're just gonna start it by hand. Rotate the wire as you're doing it, like that. Okay, it's in there. And up, not all the way, holy cow. Okay, there we go. Now I'll get the socket and tighten it up. I'm gonna slide this on here, tighten her up, just like that. Make sure it's in the right direction. Tighten it up. That's plenty tight. Ready to plug it in. Last thing we do is plug this thing in. You gotta put it in the right direction. This can pivot like that to get it up there. It's kind of limited space, but it's not too bad. Like that. Until it clicks like that. Now we just gotta put that lock in place. Once you heard it click in place like that, the last thing we do is put this lock in, push it down through like that, and plug that in like that. And that's all it takes to do Bank 2, Sensor 2 on a 2011 Chevy Captiva with a 3.0 motor.